the center field plaza out in left center field. To the right of the American flag, which stands the tallest of the three, and of course to the left, the DC flag. Uh, symbolism there from all players, unified in their continued exhibition for their social justice reforms they'd like to see. And an empty stadium and no acknowledgement from the fans and no acknowledgement to the fans from those there. So what you'll see from baseball 2020, we get a real good feel for tonight. And now one of the more well-known Washington National fans, Dr. Anthony Fauci, to throw out the first pitch. Dr. Anthony Fauci. the mound for the defending World Series champs, three-time Cy Young Award winner, Max Scherzer. Has all four pitchers, Matty. He's got a fastball, cutter, slider, changeup, occasional get-me-over curveball. As Hicks lines the ball to second base, new net Starlin Castro was there for the first out of 2020. Ball and a strike to count Aaron Judge. And that one's ripped into left field, the first base hit of 2020. So Judge at second with two men out, and here is Giancarlo. Judge off second with two out, and it'll be a 1-1 to stand. And the pitch is swung on and hit high in the air to left center. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Oh, way back in the left center field seats. A Stantonian home run. Giancarlo. No si può stoparlo. It's a two-run dinger, and the Yankees immediately take a 2-0 lead. Full count, three balls and two strikes to Brett Gardner. Already 2-0 Yankees in D.C. tonight, and Max Scherzer has his first strikeout of the year. 20-5 and five overall last year. There were 17 pitchers who won at least 15 games last season. Now the batter is Adam Eaton. Now the pitch. Swing by Eaton and a drive to deep right field. Judge going back, way back, looking up, going, going, gone, goodbye. Adam Eaton cuts the Yankees' lead in half. An outstanding at bat and a long home run over the big 14-foot, 8-inch wall in right center field. So it'll be a 1-2 to Kendra. And Garrett Cole deals. Slider stride three on the outside corner to wrap up the first inning. One run, one hit. Now to the top of the second, here's Gary Sanchez. And a wave and a miss by Sanchez. Second strikeout for Scherzer tonight. That's three straight strikeouts for Max Scherzer. Now with two down, here is Gio Arshella. Here's the wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider. And Scherzer strikes out the side here in the second inning. That's four strikeouts in a row for Scherzer. It's Aaron Hicks. Wade with good speed at first. And the pitch is swung on and missed. And that, folks, is what makes Max Scherzer so nasty. Just a small part of it. All right, here's Aaron Judge with one on and one out. Cut on and line to left field. Has a base hit down the line. Cut off in the corner by Stevenson. As Wade rounds third, coming home, the throw is cut off. It's a double for Judge, a ribby double. And the Yankees take a 3-1 lead. Ball and two strikes to the 2017 National League MVP. And he struck him out. Two more punch outs in the inning, yet the Yankees scratch across a run. Left-handed batter waiting, the Max is 0-2. Outside corner, strike three call. Ring him up with a changeup. Garter didn't like the call. Six punch outs for Max Scherzer so far tonight. Make it seven as he gets Sanchez to swing and miss. And the Yankees have the bases loaded. And here is Giancarlo, and Scherzer's pitch is swung on and lined down the right field line. It is a base hit. One run scores, so Stanton comes through again, and the Yankees take a 4-1 lead. Four earned runs tonight and counting. Swing and a miss struck him out with a slider. Cutter running in on him, and that retires the side. The tenth strikeout for Max Scherzer. Here is left-hand hitting Andrew Stevenson. All right, here's the 1-2. Half swing. Did he go? He did. It was a, a slider in the dirt, but he did go. And there are two way that strikeout number four for Garrett Cole, and that will bring up the ninth hitter, right hand hitting Victor Robles. On the corner to ring him up. Strikeout number five for Garrett Cole. And I guess uh, some lightning. You can see the rain coming down. Here is Wade, and he takes a fastball outside in the count one on O, oh, and they're going to call time. So rain comes down and 
puts the game on hold. The Yankees leading 4-1. to one. Runners at the corners with one out. They wanted very much to try to get the game in. First game of the year, ESPN National TV. And they waited two hours. Pouring. <laughs> it's still pouring. Anyway, that is your your ball game. The Yankees win it by the score of 4-1. to one. Of what promises to be an unprecedented season, unprecedented year in this country and around the world. Powerful gestures and Mookie Betts with arms with Cody Bellinger and Max Muncy on his shoulders as he takes a knee. Joining the likes of Pablo Sandoval, Gabe Kapler, Mike Yastrzemski and several other players and members of both the Dodgers and Giants organizations as the players show they are standing up for social justice. In case you had missed it, Clayton Kershaw put on the injured list. He will not make the opening day start tonight. It's going to be the young right-hander, Dustin May, who originally was not going to be on the 30-man roster. He's first and second. And two out. And here comes Hunter Pence. Rounds it slowly up the third baseline. May's got it, close to first. Dug out by Unsey, and the inning is over. And for the first time in his career, Mookie Betts goes to bat as a Los Angeles Dodger. But the cardboard cutouts here are just going crazy. And that's kind of a look you'd expect on Dodgers' faces when Mookie Betts comes to the plate. Well, we know where his mailing address is going to be for uh, a dozen years. And that one fouled off at the plate. Strike three, no foul. They say he missed it. Ball was dropped and he's tagged out. So Mookie Betts strikes out in his first at bat as a Dodger. Here is last year's National League MVP, Cody Bellinger. Now he swings and lifts a high drive down the left field line. Moving laterally to his right is Dickerson into foul ground near the railing. Reaches out and makes the catch. Bumps into the railing and comes away still holding the baseball. Well done by Dickerson. Pablo Sandoval with a big spot in this game early. In the third with no score, bases loaded and nobody out. Pablo swings, it's a high fly ball left field, pretty deep, carrying well. Peterson back short of the warning track, he'll make the catch. Heinemann's going to tag at third and he will come in to score. And sacrifice fly for Pablo Sandoval. The Giants are on the board first. But Muncy, meanwhile, in the second with a double. So now Mookie Betts with a runner in scoring position has a chance to tie the game with a base hit. That's grounds one toward third. Backhanded by Wilmer Flores. His long throw all the way across is right there on target. Good pitch from Johnny Cueto to get through Mookie Betts. Seager in the second with the double. Two down. Kike Hernandez will try to even this game up, if not give the Dodgers a lead. This one a little blooper. It's going to drop. And the Dodgers' first run of 2020 comes thanks to a Seager double and a Kike Hernandez loop single. So now the bases are loaded with two out. Austin Barnes will come up, swing a ground ball. He got jammed to third. Flores is going to scoop it up, and he'll run to the bag at third for the fourth south. So Johnny Cueto did a nice job there. He did dig deep. It's threatening here in a tie game, one-to-one, -one, top of the fifth. First and third, one out. And here comes the Panda. Swings and hits a slow bouncer back to the mound. Ferguson over to second for one. Now they're going after the runner between third and home. Heineman breaking late for the plate, coming after him. Kike Hernandez, he tries to tag and misses. Now he flips the ball to Turner at third. Heineman diving back to the bag and is tagged out. It is an inning ending double play. Runners at the corners and here is Seeger. This is where Smiley just wants to put an end to this inning. He struck him out swinging. So some drama here in the fifth inning. Blue single. Here comes Mookie Betts. He was 0 for 3 in this game and has reached base on an error. There's a base hit in the left field. But Mookie is aboard. His first hit is a Dodger. Mookie wants that baseball. First hit of who knows how many as a Dodger. And Mookie Betts and Cody Bellinger, quite a one-two combo in that lineup, and they have combined to set the Dodgers up. Second and third, one down. Big spot for Justin Turner. Slow roller, Betts coming home, sliding in, safe! Mookie Betts gets that left hand in, and that base running intelligence gives it a 2-1 Dodger lead. Second and third, two out for Kike Hernandez. Lines one in the right field for a base hit. It's going to be a two-run single. Dodgers take a four-to-one lead. Austin Barnes will hit with the bases loaded. Ground ball backhanded at second base and beating the toss is Pollock. The Dodgers take a run. It's five-to-one Dodgers. The Dodgers take a four-to-one lead. It's six-to-one Dodgers. Over to third base goes Turner. And with two down, here comes Kike Hernandez. Hernandez. With a fly ball to deep left field. It is way back and it is gone. A home run. His fourth hit of the night. 
All right, so on a team with Betts and Bellinger and Turner and Seeger, who had Kike Hernandez as the MVP? Two down, nobody on, and here is Joe McCarthy. Joe McCarthy with a slow ground ball to Justin Turner into the fifth on the right side. Shadow comes in and closes the door as the Dodgers have beaten the Giants. Eight to one. That's their magic number 50. 11 opening day wins since 2008, the most in baseball.